Hey guys, and welcome back to Nightcry. When we last left off, we were playing as Rooney Simpson, and we had just survived a harrowing encounter with a scissor walker. Now, we've got a few things to do. Let's start exploring. Finally, we have a little bit of peace and quiet. All right, so let's start exploring. We need to find a kid's room, and I've actually drawn a very crude, <laughs> rudimentary map here somewhere. There we go. So that is the clothes shop. So we've actually gone the wrong way. Because, of course, everywhere looks the same in this game. You know, fairly standard stuff. Little few, uh, you know, they could have added a few visual sort of cues that mix things up a little bit. But, you know, I suppose all that stuff costs more money. Right, this should, if my map is correct, be the kids' room. Aye, laddie. Aye, it is. All right, so what have we got here? A metal trash can. There are a few pieces of scrap paper. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, we don't need to worry too much about that. Let's examine this. Oh, dear. That was unwise now, wasn't it? Hey, friendo. Unfortunately, we can't use the trash can to defend ourselves. Which is rather awkward. But we should. Uh, okay, I don't know what Rooney was doing there. She kind of just span around. Oh, we're, okay, we survived. <laughs> I thought we was actually cooked then. That's fine. Come on, Rooney. I need you to get your ass moving, girl. To be honest. If you want to survive, anyway. Let's go into the bathroom. We should be able to hide somewhere in here. Or, oh, I was going to say, or, you know, maybe not, but no, we can. We can survive in this comically oversized toilet that is far larger than any human ass. Any ass outside of the United States, anyway. Now, let's be very, very careful. You can actually die here if you fuck this up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to link in the description a video of all the deaths in the final episode of this game. Oop. Because otherwise, you just spend so much time getting back to where you were. Although there is one death that I do want to show. Okay, I can still hear this is a walker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if Rooney sat on that toilet, she'd literally fall in. The sink is tainted with faint red colour, suggesting that perhaps somebody came here to clean their wounds. Excellent. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the kids' room. Um, Come back up this way. So the cargo hold should be down there somewhere. That's fine. There's actually two washrooms. Interesting. Okay. I never understood why Americans called toilets uh, restrooms. I suppose it's somewhat accurate. We You, you do go in there for a rest. <laughs> um, but I suppose it is a bit more, you know, PC, a little bit politer than the UK terminology. You know, the throne, the thunderbox, the shitter, I suppose. Right, is that the kids' room? That is not the kids' room. That is the room we came back in. See, even with a map, this place is still crazy confusing to me. Maybe we need to come further back here. Yeah, okay, that should be the kids' room. Gotcha. Nothing gets past me. Right, so I thought we could actually use this to distract the uh, scissor walker, but I guess not. We need to examine the doll. A doll? Uh huh. And it's a spoopy animated doll. Now we can defend ourselves uh, by clicking on this. 
I was going to leave this death in because it's really funny. But I don't <laughs> want to keep playing back up to where we were. So time is money and all the rest of it. But like I say, I will link all of the deaths in the description of the final video. Um, you know what? I'll put it into this one, actually. Okay, spherical object sits grossly out of place on the crib. A ball. Looks like a billiard ball. Excellent. Well, there we go. We have a billiard ball B, which is in our inventory. We need to collect a few of these. So, let's go back to the movie theatre. Which should be somewhat easier to get to, I think. If we... We want to head back down this way, I think. No, this leads to the toilet, doesn't it? Yeah, we want to go round the corner. I remember. Come on, Rooney. Whilst we're young, I still have two years of, of youth left. I don't really want to waste them with you. Okay. There we go. That's where we need to go. Cool. Shall we stop off at the save location? It could be a good idea, I suppose. Go dock the old phone. Just in case anything rather unpleasant happens to Rooney. Really don't want to be um, replaying section after section after section. That's the only trouble with this game. Um, I, I honestly believe that each Scissor Walker um, event, I think you should get a quick save before it. You should get some sort of auto save. And um, with every potential game over scene. Just because there's a lot of stuff you have to replay in this game. You know, in Clock Tower, uh, especially Clock Tower uh, for the PS1, the first one, although technically that's Clock Tower 2, never, it never seemed like you had to replay an awful lot of game, right? But this is just slow and it just it's got a different feeling to it. Anyway, we need to explore the cinema. Suppose we can turn our flashlight on. Interestingly, the flashlight, uh, I can't remember if I said this in a video before, um, or it might, have been, it might have come up when I was uh, streaming it in Discord, but if you push L on the keyboard, you can turn your light on and off. Nowhere in the game's options <laughs> does, it, does it tell you you can do that. Come on, Rooney. Can we have a little look around? A number of seats. The number of seats is uh, proportionate to that of a mini theatre, but there seems there would have been enough space to relax and enjoy a movie. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we're not going to be enjoying any movies here. Kelly? Uh, oh. Kelly? Not sure why she's just collapsed on the floor there. I was running from it, then I fell and hit my head. Ouch! It's left a lump, all right. That's unfortunate. Well, if we continue to talk to her. Still, it's good to see you're alive, too. You didn't run, run into that thing? I did. I managed to escape, somehow. Ah, so even the Death Wish Diva has enough common sense to run away from that thing. See, they're not even, it's, there's no attempt, is there, to make the dialogue enjoyable or even make sense. Excuse me? Oh, I'm just kidding. Relax. Right now, we need to plan. That thing's still out there, right? Most likely, we need to think of a way out of this. Is hoping there is one. Security fired their guns at the thing and it ate all the bullets like candy. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to scout around, see if I can find somewhere to, lay, uh, to lie low. Here. Boy, you're slow. I'm trying to give you my number. You're going to need it, right? Uh, oh, right. Okay, so we've got Kelly uh, in our contact list now. Really weird. We were just in here hiding, and we did not know Kelly was here. And when the scissor walker was looking for us, it also didn't find her. 
I mean, sure, I guess. Got to find the others. Just hope they're in one piece. I guess if you're still in one piece, the odds are good that the others are too, you know, because they actually value life. Oh, God. See, I didn't even re uh, read this before. They actually value life. See, here's the thing with Rooney as well. That <sighs> Nowhere um, has this game expressively said that she's suicidal and she wants to die. She just has um, suicidal um, compulsive thoughts, right? Having suicidal compulsive thoughts and actually wanting to die are two very different things, right? You know, being mentally ill and wanting to self-terminate, uh, fuck it, suicide, you know, I'm not going to dance around the subject. It's just, it, it's so wildly different. Anyway, let's get out of here. It's just absolutely Awful dialogue. Okay. It also looks like her mental illness is being played on uh, or heavily exacerbated by the demons that uh, inhabit this ship to some degree. Right. We need to come up here and Kelly is going to give us a ring. Rooney? Is that you? I've just met up with the others. Met up? Yeah, you know, that cargo hold in the shopping area. We're hiding in there. The doors look like they can be they can take a beating. Better ugh, it's going too quick again. Okay, I'm on my way. So just one thing, we've locked the doors from the inside. We'd be screwed if that monster got in here. I'll let you in. Okay, so I should just call you when I get the, to the doors, right? Yeah, don't keep us waiting. Again, really, really inconsistent um dialogue speeds there like I literally could not read that fast enough it's a good thing I already know what we're doing because I would have missed most of that so yeah they are now locked up in the holding area close to the kids room now that's fine I'm not sure how she actually got past us and down into that area maybe I'm probably just thinking about it too much and if the doors were locked, I'm not really... Why didn't we have her phone number either? She was like our friend. Come on, come on, go around the corner. Ra come on, come on, go through. Go through, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. Look at that. We managed to walk in the correct direction. Yeah, so not really sure how that transpired, but I guess it's probably not that important. It really is dark here, isn't it? So let's go check out the cargo hold, see who's actually left alive. We can go past the shop. Now the cargo hold, according to my map, should be past... That's a washroom that's locked off, yeah. The cargo hold is just here. But of course we can't get in there. Kelly mentioned the cargo hold where everybody is hiding. This must be it. Kelly said to phone her when we got near the cargo hold. Okay, let's do just that, shall we? Kelly. Yeah, we don't really have many, many numbers here that we can ring. Oh, actually, there was something kind of cool. We go back. Can't remember if I showed this. But yeah, Leonard is actually, uh, we can see his post on social media. This is Sol, first mate. Like I promised, I'm posting about playing snooker. It's best to start from a basic nine ball game. And he's actually showing us, gee, I wonder if this is going to be um, pertinent later. I guess we can post. No, we can't post. Can we like his status? No. Don't be a fool. Let's phone Kelly. It's me, Rooney. I'm at the doors. All right, come in. You know, why is the phone up? Oh, thank fuck for that. I thought that had glitched then. Yeah, this is another reason I try to save this game at every opportunity, because it crashes, it glitches, things happen. All right, so we're now in the cargo hold, and there's actually a decent amount of people surviving, which is good, I guess. Inclu Ooh, look at him. 
Wasn't he on the island, boiling his eye? How can he be... Hmm, must be someone completely different, I guess. Alright, let's go talk to these people. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Rooney. My, my, it takes a special kind of person to greet somebody so normally, given the circumstances. I'm Angie. Uh, you only got in here a little while ago, right? Did you come across survivors out there? Yeah, we literally just walked in through the door. I can't find my husband. John T Ah, yeah, that's John's husband. Maybe you've heard something? No, I've not talked to any survivors other than Kelly. I'm an acquaintance. Oh. At the end of the day, he's a very capable man. He's probably safe and sound somewhere, but still. Yeah, he's definitely not uh, upstairs in an elevator with his uh, hands missing. No. Is there anyone on board that you're worried for? Yeah, I'd like to at least know if they're still okay. Of course, of course. Everybody has someone they treasure. They're like that t-shirt. You can never be... Oh, they're like that t-shirt you can never be without. You don't realise how much they mean to you until they're gone. Oh, terrible. Oh, that hurt to actually read that. I pray your special somebody is safe and sound. Me too. I'll pray they're somewhere safe. Yeah, uh, your, your friend was, uh, or your father figure, I should say, was last seen on a rubber dinghy in the middle of the ocean. But that's metagaming. Anyway, looks like we have someone over here who looks like a little bit of an, uh, an offender. Jesus. Hello, young lady. You seem quite tired. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right, thanks. Right, don't let yourself get in a panic now. To be honest, this kind of situation almost makes me feel excited. Yeah, this guy's definitely on, on a register somewhere. Maybe his name is Peter File. Hello, young lady. You seem quite tired. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right, thanks. Right, okay. He has more dialogue, and... Yeah, he, get, he gets weirder. Anyway, Professor. Rooney, you're safe. What about the Professor? Professor Leonard... Isn't he with you? No, I'm trying to find him myself. He called around an hour ago saying he was searching for a way to sort this mess out. So he should still be somewhere on board the ship. I can't stay for sure. There's been no word from him since. Mm, that doesn't sound good. Oh, it would put me at ease just to hear it from him. I'm sure he's fine. The professor's no stranger to strenuous physical exertion. <laughs> you should see him in the field. I think she's talking about something else. Yeah, he should be fine. This is so messed up. Huh? The professor's missing, or worse. But the suicidal loony girl, she's right here. Peachy as can be. What the fuck, man? What? <laughs> the suicidal loony girl? What? What? Ugh. Shouldn't it be the other way round? You're always dragging the professor down with your death wish crap. And you're the one who's fine. She's a professor! What? What? <laughs> Just... I need a moment. <laughs> I fucking hell, guys. Jesus Christ. I... This can't be serious. Just leave me alone. I've said too much. I spoke out of turn, and I might say far worse <clears throat> if I have to keep looking at your face. Well, I hope you get skinned alive. I would enjoy that. Anyway, let's talk to Kelly. And they say I'm the monster. Nothing's getting through that door. We should be safe hunkering down here until help arrives. Help is coming? Hell if I know. But now shit's hit the fan. Somebody from the crew must have at least sent out a distress call, right? Anyway, did you see either Monica or Jessica on the way over here? I didn't, and I can't reach them by phone or text. No, I haven't seen them. Damn. I'm sure they're stowed away somewhere safe, just like us, though. Yeah, definitely not in a, in a box somewhere in pieces. Um, oh, man, this game. I... I'm gonna look for Monica. What, are you serious? Yeah, and also the professor and Jessica. We haven't confirmed everybody is safe. After all, 
Gee, wow, you really do have a death wish. You know there's a murderous freak on the rampage out there. I'm aware of that, but I also want to find a way out of this crisis. Well, since when were you the proactive type? Oh, right, your death wish must have busted your instincts for survival. Ah, hell, it's your life. Go throw it away, see if I care. Do you have Monica or Jessica's contact details? I don't. Right, you never qualified to be a member of the bitch brigade. Brigade, hold up, I'll send you the details. Right, I... So... You're, you're tearing into the one person who's being proactive and actually trying to unfuck the situation whilst you're sitting in a little box um, with no escape plan. It. I'm sorry, did children write this? Children must have written this. I... I... I don't know. I, I, mm, I have no words for this game. Honestly, it's, I just, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. This, this game is just fucking bananas. Anyway, let's go talk to him. They do know it can phase through walls and things, right? I'm awfully sorry that things came to this. Uh, surely there's no need for you to apologize. Oh, there is. I'm Vigo, uh, Borodov. Oh. Boradzov. Boradzov? The owner of this ship. And yet, I don't have a clue what's happening or why. I'm responsible for everything that happens on this ship. Hmm. I don't suppose you've run into the ship's captain. He's supposed to assume invest investigative command in these kinds of situations. In place of the authorities, alas, I cannot reach him. Unfortunately, I haven't seen him since the monster appeared wishful thinking. I just hope he hasn't already run afoul of that monster. I don't suppose you've run... Oh, okay, she's just going to repeat the same text. Can we talk to Mr. Peter File over here? See if he's got anything new to say. Hello, young lady. You seem quite tired. Are you alright? Yes, thanks. Don't let yourself... Oh, okay. Maybe he doesn't. I thought he had more dialogue. I think... He... I vaguely remember... Ooh, what's that there? I vaguely remember him saying that he was would look after us or something if we wanted to have a nap or something. Maybe I'm imagining that. Yeah, he's he's the sort of guy that would roofie a girl in a club, I think. What's this in this corner? The ceiling pipes have sprung leaks and pools of water have built up in the corners of the room. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, incredibly poorly maintained, this vessel. Also, there's like a a big vent here, guys. Like, this this area is really not that secure. I'm just saying. Anyway. Let's get out of here. Right, we're not actually done in here yet. The door is... Ah. Okay, let's phone Kelly again. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, items that we still need. Right. Open the door. Let me in. God damn it. Okay. So, we actually do need John Thomas's details. I overheard. You're going out there to find your friends, aren't you? Yes. And also, if I stay here, I'll never know if there's a way out for us to escape. True. You're a brave one. If you're going, you'll need your friend's contact details. Monica, was it? Oh, I got her contact details from Kelly just now. But not these details. The numbers to my husband's smartphone. You see, a little while back, I called my husband's smartphone. And I just called it a fucking phone. You don't have to call it a smartphone, right? Um, and a girl called Monica answered. She said she had found his smartphone laying around. Maybe she's still got it on her now. I see, so I might be able to reach Monica using that number. Exactly, so note down John's number. Cool. We also need a vital piece from this guy. You mentioned that you're the owner of this ship, right? So you wouldn't happen to know a way off this floor, would you? Off this floor? Don't tell me you're contemplating leaving this room. I... There's someone I want to find. It's important. 
reckless for sure, but perhaps that is precisely the kind of person who may have a chance to experience eternity. Well, that's an oddly creepy thing to say. If you go to the end of this floor, to the end of the aisle in the movie theater, you'll find a door leading to an, um, the emergency stairwell. You should be able to get to the other floors from there. Here, take this key. Key to the emergency staircase. That's what we need. Okay. Thanks, buddy. What does he mean, experience eternity? Seems a bit odd, wouldn't you say? Okay, anyway, we need to go back into the main hall. Yeah, the, I just, you know, the dialogue in this game, it's not just bad, that's the thing, it's abysmal. It's truly, truly shit. Like, it's not even one of those experiences um, that you can say it's so bad it's good. It's just genuinely 100% grade A shit. It, it's, it's almost wonderful in a way. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to leave this uh, video here. And when we come back, well... We're going to continue walking around. It's a little bit early to end the episode, I know, but seems pertinent if we can save it here to, to make use of it. Uh, and when we come back, well, we've got some more balls to find. At least Rooney, the <laughs> Death Wish Diva, has more balls than anyone else on this ship. I'll give her that. Um, yeah, they've completely misrepresented this character. And I'm not in for this, you know, everybody needs to be represented and all that. That's just a load of fucking shit. But they really have fuck this up so bad i don't know whether it's um something that's lost in translation whether it's to do with the culture i don't know but it's just bad anyway thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time